Hi, my name is Lufena Cornelia from 90 Senior High School and for today I will show you guys how to make this mini semurayam burrito So, the ingredients you need is tortilla wraps, rice, chicken breast, salt, black pepper, parsley and nutmeg powders, sweet soya sauce, cloves, egg, leek, big cream pepper, shallots, and garlics Firstly, crack the eggs into a small bowl and add a pinch of salt, then whisk until all well blended. Secondly, heat the cooking oil on pan and cook the eggs with omelette style. Thirdly, put garlic and shallots that are already peeled and cleaned into a food processor. Next, add the cloves, nutmeg powder, and a little bit of water. Then turn on the food processor and wait until all the ingredients are well blended. Next, move the omelette to the cutting board and cut them into a thin rectangle lengthwise style. Move on to the chicken breast. Cut it into small cubes and don't forget to wash it before you cut it. safety first so always be careful while using your knife next put the stuff on medium heat and pour the oil into a pan when the pan is hot put the mixture of garlic shallots nutmeg powder and cloves to the pan and stir fry until it smells good then add salt and black pepper after that add the chicken cubes to the pan and stir it again for the last add the sweet soy sauce next wait until the water gets absorbed and the chicken cook well for step number eight chop the big green pepper and lick then remove the green pepper seeds next Prepare a bowl of warm rice and mix it with parsley powder. Going to the tortilla wraps, uh, put them to the hot pan for just 10 seconds for each side. After that, put the tortilla wrap to the plate and stack the rice, chicken, eggs, and leek on it. Then fold it until the inside is completely covered. For your last, put the food on the serving plate. And finally, burrito sumur ayam is ready to eat. So why this food is a promising product? Based on food and beverage business news, that Mexican food has started to be accepted and will be growing in Indonesia. Other than that, based on the testimonial from people around me and also my own experience trying uh, some Mexican food, the taste is appealing for Indonesian palate. And for this reason, I saw quite a big opportunity to sell this burrito smurayam which combined the taste of the typical Mexican burrito and Indonesian flavor smurayam uh, so that this food can be more easily accepted by Indonesian people. And the advantages of my modified food compared to the similar food products is like I said before, this burrito smurayam can give a new flavors of two countries. And another plus, this food is more practical than smurayam in general because it can be taken and enjoyed anywhere without using spoon, plate, or a fork. And the most important, this burrito is a filling food that friendly to your pocket.